Hi everybody, it's Leah here with Southern Country Comforts and today I just want to share with you some items that I found um, on my lunch break I went to the recycling center and did a thrift haul there and then yesterday uh, afternoon I was able to go with my sister-in-law um, to Merrill Norman over at Fayetteville and I just wanted to share a couple items there. I am not a girly girl and so I don't go out and do a lot of shopping. I don't really buy things firsthand typically. It's usually secondhand. But I love when I can get good tips and tricks from other ladies out there and find things that they really like and enjoy. So I like to share a couple things um, that way as well. So, and it was always, you know, always nice to spend time with family. So um, the first thing I want to share uh, from Meryl Norman, and this is in the Fayetteville, Arkansas office and she had some great deals and um, i used to use this back when i was a teenager it's the pencil and it's the lipstick combo and um, i loved it so i decided um, that i had to have one of these and then also their blush um, they had a deal for these as well for half off so i grabbed one of those and one thing I didn't think about is when I got there, she has some boutique uh, style clothing as well. So um, she had some of these cute, um, for the ladies out there, the little bralettes, and they were $12 for those. And then um, this cute little tank top. I usually don't wear tank tops. Um, I don't like to show my arms, um, but this one's really cute and it's really comfortable, really soft. And um, you can actually, it's reversible in the fact that it V's in the back and you can wear that V in the back or you can switch it around in the front. There's no tag there. Um, and then another thing that I had found this week, um, I'd purchased some before, but I got a size that was um, too big and didn't realize it uh, at the time. So. I was able to find them again and there's a store in Huntsville called Hook for Life and they have the can cans and they are the most comfortable jeans that I think I have ever worn and she has some great prices there so um, like I said I don't go shopping a lot but I've been in there about twice in the last year and both times I found some great deals in her store and that's Hook for Life in Huntsville um, but Thursday on my lunch break, I ran to the recycling center just to check out what was going on and I just happened to time it right. And um, they pulled out some, some new merchandise and I got to go through that and grab some things. So, um, first couple things that I found um, are these brass little candlesticks and there's actually five of those, just all different sizes. I love the brass candlesticks. Something else I found um, are these goblets and they have a blue tint to them, which I typically don't do blue, but I'll show you, I found some other things. Um, but these are just really pretty and I love goblets. My kids love goblets and they end up usually, you know, getting broke, um, at least one or two. So it doesn't hurt to have extras. But one thing um, I found, and you guys, this stuff, the recycling center, if you can find some good deals, you can find some really good deals, but you're gonna have to clean it up. And this stuff um, was caked with dirt, um, but I washed it all up and it's really pretty. These are uh, A-R-C-O-P-A-L, and um, I did some investigating and I thought, you know, when I got them, you know, they're just kind of some little cheap, Walmart dishes, um, something like that. Um, there's actually four of the bowls, four of this style of plate, and then four of this style of plate as well. And then on the larger one, there are eight of these larger dishes. And these are, I guess, from France. Um, but I did some looking on eBay and I think one of the plates they had listed for like $34. So I was excited about that. And I think I'm going to, I'm going to try to show you how I'm going to style those on my hutch today um, and bring in some of that blue. 
that I don't typically use, but uh, something else I found, again, it was really, it was caked with dirt and things and I had to clean it up, is I think it's a pickle jar. But I just love the look of that. And I know I'm not telling you guys prices because I'm gonna tell you what I paid um, for everything here in just a second. This I didn't dust off yet, but it's a solid wood handmade um, corner shelf. So I think I'm gonna be able to find a place for that. If not, um, my other thought was I'm gonna refinish that and um, possibly list it for sale um, on Facebook Marketplace. But something I was really, really excited about. Um, I'm always on the lookout. I love vintage um, paintings, prints, and things like that. And I just happened to find this one and I thought it would be perfect for fall. And it's such a large picture, if you can kind of see. I'll get close there. And where my parents are from, where I spent a lot of time uh, growing up, this kind of reminds me of that. Um, and my father, he still um, owns some places over there, but um, Hardy, Arkansas is where we're from, or where my parents are from. And there's an old water well there um, in between Hardy and Ravenden Springs. And that really reminds me of that. Um, one, a uh, couple other things. Um, these are not from the recycling center. Oh, first of all, I'm gonna tell you how much I paid for all of that. So for the shelf, the pickle jar, the print, the dishes, all the dishes, um, for all of that, I paid $16 for everything. So I was really excited about that and the candlesticks. So another, a friend was having a yard sale and she had some things she let me look at before she took over there. And so for these items, um, I have in mind um, some things to go above the breakfast table. So I, I'm wanting to bring in some of this copper, which I have some things, some vintage um, pots and pans and things that I have in mind to use. And then some more scoops. And then just, probably 10 or so of these copper cookie cutters. And for all of this, I paid her $15 um, for both sets of these and the cookie cutters. So I am really excited. I think I got some really good deals. Um, and I'm excited to show you guys how I'm gonna use those and style those in my home. So I hope you come along with me and let's go get started. I'm going to start by cleaning the hutch. I use this Mrs. Myers cleaning spray. It's an all-purpose cleaning spray. that I thrifted from the recycling center this past week. And I don't have a full set of either of the patterns, and so there's a mixture of the two, and so I tried to incorporate both of them together. never used much blue when I decorate, but I really think I'm going to like it. You can see I had left a couple items on the top of the hutch. I had had those up from the springtime, and I wanted to leave those there and use them for the 
the summer as well. Here are the blue goblets that I had thrifted from the recycling center as well. They were so dirty when I got them, but they did clean up nicely and I was pleased with them. Now I'm adding in the set of five breasts sticks that I got from the recycling center as well. I believe that this greenery came from Hobby Lobby, um, but I had purchased it quite some time ago. Again, when I am decorating, changing things out, I like to shop my house. I don't go out and buy a bunch of new items typically. I just see what I have and rearrange things. A little note to self the next time I'm going to be doing a decorate with me. I need to pay a little bit more attention to the back of my hair. I didn't do a great job on getting it all straightened this morning. This little dish I thrifted some time ago and the sign is from the dollar store. I love these little signs and they have them uh, for a lot of the different seasons and they're great for tiered trays and just to add in a little bit to your decor. So this greenery was part of a garland and I just had cut the garland up into different lengths and used it in various ways. And it also came from Hobby Lobby. This doily, of course, is thrifted as well. Um, so I'm just going to add this here um, to bring down some of the white onto the top of the hutch. This chicken, I believe, is also a Hobby Lobby purchase. Again, it's from at least a year ago or so and um, that I purchased that but I know they still have some of that same style if not the same one available and this next item is a brass candlestick that I had um, painted and this was a little cheese tray and I also painted the bottom of it and distressed it and um, am utilizing it uh, just kind of as a, a little stand there with some more strawberries in it. I'm going to bring in a little bit of the red color as you're going to see. This wooden cake stand was a thrifted item. It has a top that goes with it as well, but instead of using it, I'm going to be using this uh, antique ceramic strawberry pie plate. And they are so cute. I, I have one that I like to use for every season. So I'm just going to set that on top of that cake stand there.
So now we're going to start to focus on the top of the hutch. Um, the items that are there, like I said, I used for the springtime. Um, this old chalkboard came from the Kingston school that I attended. They were cleaning some stuff out and selling some things and I purchased it from them. So I'm going to use that on top of the hutch and I just placed a command strip um, as you can see at the top of that chalkboard and I'm going to hang this little wreath uh, that came from Hobby Lobby. I believe it's out of the wedding section though is where you typically find those little wreaths. I also thrifted this item and just painted the front of it white um, and thought it added a nice touch. I've started to find the layered look um, really appealing in some areas and so I'm just trying to, to utilize that here with some different items. Now I'm adding a strawberry cookie jar that I thrifted um, to bring that red up to the top as well. I like to try to keep the colors cohesive as well. Here is my hutch decorated for the summer and I'm very pleased on how it turned out.